Hello, this is a Monday. It's been a beautiful sunny morning. I don't have to wear my sweater, although the weather's changing fast, so I'll be lucky if it stays like this very much longer. But I'm enjoying it. Uh, on Friday, I, I told you about drifting, uh, and I'm going to go on with that, but there's a couple things when I looked at the video uh, that I thought I should uh, tell you again. Um, well, one of them is that there was a student. I was, uh, I could name him actually, uh, I think. Uh, when I was going through that business about what would grandma say that you wouldn't say, and uh, I, the kids would tell me what to say, and, and I said, come on, uh, what, don't guys go like this when they talk and they do something weird with their shoulders? And, and the kids were coaching me a little bit, and uh, I remember this one student, uh, a boy, he was so horrified to see me do that. He said, don't ever do that again because it looked so horrible in his eyes to see me acting like that. And, and I said, what do you mean go? And he said, no, don't do that. Uh, it was evidence, uh, it was evidence about how bound to uh, a generation certain languages are and certain ways of behaving. Um, all right, the other thing I think I want to remind you of is I talked about a, a raft a breaking in part uh, in two pieces and uh, drifting off the coast of Florida and, and given enough time part of that raft might end up in uh, uh, Iceland and part of it might end up in Portugal as it uh, went along for a while the two parts would drift close together but then uh, they would gradually drift further apart and currents would take them different places well that ha that happens with languages uh, and uh, uh, it, Related to that, before I go on to tell you, so where did English come from, uh, let me run something by you that I use as a teaching device in a way. With my students at this point, I will tell them, now imagine that I am a, an all-powerful dictator, I can do anything I want, and I have a fascination with linguistics. So I'm going to make an experiment, and I'm going to use you guys. Zip, there goes a wall up between, up the middle of the class, and I got you. You can't get away. I've got you. And now before I say this, I always look to see how many girls are there and, and how many boys and how many girls and boys. And I'll say, all right, you guys over here, here's what I'm going to do with you guys. I Don't worry. It's going to be nice. Uh, I'm going to load you on a helicopter and fly you to Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, I'm rich, I can do this. And then I'm going to put you on a, a big commercial flight and then I'm going to fly you to Tahiti in the middle of the South Sea, uh, South Pacific, and then another helicopter, and I'm going to fly you guys off to a, a, an island in the South Pacific, and boy, it's going to be so nice. There you can eat bananas and coconuts, and you don't have to work, and you can swim, and you can lay in the sun, and you can just really enjoy yourselves. However, there is a catch. For the rest of your lives, you will not be able to leave that island. And you also are never going to be able to hear anybody speak except for the ones that are on that island. You are going to be isolated. I'm going to take very good care of you. You'll be healthy. You should probably be happy. But you're going to be isolated. There'll be no cell phones. There'll be no television f uh, from far away. Uh, no communication except you guys yourselves. All right, so there you go. Now the other group, I'll say, you guys, I'm going to do the same thing with you, exactly, except it's going to be a different island. And there you're going to be. And you're going to be isolated, and you'll have a fine time. You'll get used to it, and you'll live a good life, live long, have lots of kids. That's important. Have lots of kids. You know, the, the students will look at each other horrified at this point in a way thinking, oh my gosh, is that my choice of mates? Oh my gosh, is that my choice of mates? And that gets them excited. But I want their attention. I want them thinking about this. And I tell them now, to complete this experiment, I couldn't do it in my lifetime. My son, uh, who I would pass the dictatorship on to, and probably his son as well, maybe further. It, maybe that's how long it would take to finish out this experiment. <clears throat> But linguists believe that ultimately, given a hundred years, say, if uh, someone were to go back to that island and take somebody from that island, 
uh, and then uh, get the, and go to that island and take somebody from that island and put those two together, that ultimately there would come a point where they would not, your, and your descendants would not understand each other anymore. Why? Because your languages would have drifted apart. Languages, is, languages are drifting. Um, and although now we're all tied together in a sense because we talk to each other, we watch the same movies and television shows and radio and sing the same songs and we, we're, we're a speaking community. But if, those, if that community were separated and isolated, then that drifting that goes on collectively would go on separately. And you would be like those two pieces of a raft that would gradually drift apart. And ultimately, linguists believe that even without any other input, just through drift, your languages would drift apart. Uh, that, in fact, is what uh, linguists believe have happened, has happened. Uh, that's the reason that Ed, this man from Britain who's watched some of these videos, that he has so much trouble with my, my speech. Well, I don't know how much trouble he has, but he, he notices it ex ex extremely because I don't speak like someone from Britain. Uh, the, the British speaking community uh, was, was somewhat isolated from the American speaking community um, two, three hundred years ago the process began and we've drifted apart. Well, it's very important that you understand that concept before I go on to try to explain to you where did English come from. Uh, 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 but, but I will go on to try to do that now in the next video, which will be 39.2, whether I remember to change the number or not. 39th day, second video. I hope you stick around for the second one.